Hi guys, so today I will be doing my very first one brand makeup tutorial and the brand that I'm going to be featuring today will be e.l.f. which we all know and love. So if you're interested in watching then stay tuned. I'm going to be starting off by priming my face with the e.l.f. hydrating face primer and this primer is amazing, it's so soothing on the skin and just great. <laughs> Then I'm going to be taking the Elf Flawless Finish Foundation in the color Buff. And as you can see, it is way too dark for me. And yes, I don't know why I didn't get the right shade. But yes, as you can see, it was too dark for me. But overall, it was a nice foundation. It blended out very nicely. And I liked it. Other than the color being off. It was a good foundation. Then I'm going to be taking the e.l.f. HD Lifting Concealer in the color Light. And I'm going to be concealing to the gods. I mean, since the foundation shade was really off, I wanted to, I don't know, get my color back. So I concealed a lot. And this concealer is really creamy, very easy to blend, very nice, and it's super affordable. And then I'm just going to be blending it out with the Real Technique sponge. I didn't use e.l.f. tools. I'm so sorry about that. Then I will be setting everything with the e.l.f. HD powder in the color Sheer, which has no color. And this powder was amazing. I mean, so light on the skin and very, very smooth. So I'm just going to be setting my entire face with it. Then I'll be taking the e.l.f. Aqua Infused Blush and Bronzer Duo in Bronze Velvet. And I'm going to be taking the bronzer, which I didn't know it was a cream bronzer. And I really don't like cream bronzers. It didn't really stay during the day. It was like so patchy, but... I mean, it was still a nice color, but next time I'm going to be setting a powder on top of it. Then I'm going to be taking the blush side of it and applying it on my cheeks, which the blush was very nice. A little bit goes a long way. It is super creamy as well. Then I'm going to, then I'm going to be taking the e.l.f. Studio Baked Highlighter in Moonlight Pearls. This is kind of like an everyday highlighter. It is not too intense, but it seemed a little bit chalky for me. Then I'm going to be taking the e.l.f. Eyelid Primer and priming my eyes and my eyebrows because I'm going to be doing them as well. And just blending it out with my ring finger. Then I'm going to be taking the e.l.f. Brow Pencil in the color Deep Brown. It was a little too dark for my taste, but... I was just filling in these sparse areas like I usually do. And I'm going to be just going uh, back and forth with the pencil. Just filling in and then uh, brushing it out with the spoolie. Then I'll be taking the eyebrow kit which is one of my all time favorites. I don't know if you've been in with me for a while, you know that I used to love this product. So I'm just taking the wax side and shaping my brows, just filling them in. It It is really self-explanatory. Now I'm be taking the concealer again and just clean and taking some of the back of my hand and cleaning out my brows. Just to give them that shape. After that, I'll be taking the Elf Flawless eyeshadow in the color matte for plum and I'll be taking the base color which is a creamy matte color and I'm going to be applying that all over my lid then I'll be taking the crease color which is a purpley plum 
color and I'm going to be applying that on the crease and just building it up to the intensity I want. These shades are very creamy and easy to blend. I really like this palette. Then I'm going to be taking the e.l.f. eyeliner and shadow stick in black smoke and I will be taking the shadow side of it and applying that all over my lid for a base for the next color. Then I'm going to be taking the lid color which is a matte gray shade and applying that where I applied the shadow stick. It did have a little bit of fallout but overall it was very nice to blend out and very pigmented as well. Then I'm going to be taking some of that plummy shade and applying that on my crease. Then I will be taking the base color once more and apply that on my brow bone area. Then I will be taking the e.l.f. highlighter again and apply that on my tear duct area but first I apply the concealer for an extra pop. Then I will be taking the matte black shade that comes with the palette and apply that on my outer V and a little bit on my crease for that extra smoky look. I'm just taking a bit because I don't want it to look really like dirty or messy. And then just blending all the colors together. After that I'm going to be taking the plum shade and the gray shade and applying both colors on my lower lash line. Then I will be taking the e.l.f. liquid eyeliner which is my all time favorite and doing my winged look. Then I'm taking the liner side of the eyeliner and shadow stick and applying that on my tight line and waterline. Then I'll be taking the e.l.f. lengthening and volumizing mascara and applying a couple coats to my top and bottom lashes. Then I'll be applying the e.l.f. natural eyelashes and setting my brows with the clear brow and lash mascara which I actually use on a daily basis. And that's the finished eye look. Then I will be taking the e.l.f. matte lip color in the color Praline. And it is just a nudey, peachy color. And applying that on my lips. And that's the finished look. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you all in my next one. Bye!